Good afternoon, everyone. It's Lonnie Williams with you again from 5MinuteTrades.com. Just want to um, talk about uh, another trade recap of um, signal that I sent out to members of my trading service um, recently. This is a trade that um, I got into last night, and I took profit from it today. So, got the hint here. Sell trade. Now, of course, here, um, did a bar replay because... Of course, the trade already didn't happen and everything like that. But I wanted to discuss it and tell you why I got into the trade, what I was looking for, what I saw, so that you can duplicate some of the um, similar techniques on your own trades in the future. So if you haven't, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel here, 5 Minute Trades. Um, if you want to learn more about what I do, go to our website. 5minutetrades.com but let's continue all right so here we're looking at the um australian dollar versus the swiss franc so when we go to the 15 minute time frame first let's go back here when i started looking at this pair um go forward a little bit here yeah so go forward in time here okay this is when I started looking at this pair here, um, which is, you know, yesterday around five o'clock. This is um, the opening of the candle. Now, I never trade Sundays right at five o'clock because the spread is so high. So um, I saw this, but I wasn't really interested in it because for the aforementioned reasons. But I did keep my eye on it. Go down to the uh, 15 minute. All right. So. If this is your first time um, looking at our channel here, you know that um, I like to trade with the, um, I like to use the line charts. So I'm going to go back to the line chart and I'm going to go to the um, five minute time frame here. All right. So I want to show you this. All right, this is started at Tokyo session. This was yesterday, 7 o'clock. Speed up a little bit because I got into the trade. I sent out the alert at 10, 11 last night. And I got into, into the trade at 10, 30. That's my, um, my order got filled. Look, stop. There we go. All right, so I got in here at this point here. So um, let's talk about it. So you notice here that we have a high here. We have a, a high, a daily high from um, you know, from Thursday, December 31st. So kind of highlight that. Let me go to my object tree here. And I believe it is this one. Yes. No, that's not the right one. Uh, okay, let me go back. Which one was it? Let's see. Ah, oh, this one. All right, there we go. So let's look at this again. Move this over here. Don't forget, check us out five minutes trade.com. We're on the five minute time chart here. Um, hint the name five minute trades. So notice, um, this high, this level here, daily high from, you know, from Thursday, 1231. So I noticed that it did not break this level. It did not um, get higher than this. This is what I'm looking at, you know, around this time here. So what I did, I set an entry um, limit order for a sell trade at this point here. The reason why I said it at this point is because, one, I like to go for um, four to one risk reward ratio. So I generally do like 25 pips stop loss and I want to have a um, 100 pip take profit. So when I, did, when I did my original stop loss, it placed it right above this weekly high level here. So that's why I had 25 pips. 
But the way you um make more money than you lose trading in forex markets, don't let it get to your stop loss. Like I have this in mind for risk management purposes. Um, you know, never risking more than um two two three percent. But if it would have closed above this daily high here, I would have got out the trade <clears throat> because there'd be no reason for me to get into the be in the trade any longer. If, I'm, if I have a um, short bias on the trade and it makes a new um high. It breaks this high. I just immediately um, cut the trade off, you know, and um, look, look elsewhere. But fortunately, that did not happen here. So I got into the trade here. So let me um, get my object tree again here. Look for the arrow down. Bam. Right there. Got in right there. Um, now we can go forward some more. Now there was another opportunity where I could have gotten to the trade also again at um at three o'clock when the London session started. So I'm gonna um move this here and you're gonna see that jump. So the trade could have got filled here as well, but I got in when I got in. I'm happy with my entry. Um, so you see that I talked about this before and you're going to hear me talk about this all the time. Market structure. Very, very important. Um, you know, you look, we don't use indicators here at five minutes trades.com, but you look at this pair, um, last night when I got into the trade, it was said very strong uptrend, you know, for this pair, but you know, I'm trading on the lower time frame, five minutes, 15 minutes, and, um, knows that the market structure is changing. Knows that this, this daily high from Thursday, from the 31st, the last trading day of the year for us in the Forex market, did not get broken. In fact, it didn't even um, close above the tra our trend line here. So that gave me more um, more um, belief that I had the right bias for the trade, which was obviously short. Let's continue. So you can see it just started going to the downside. Now we're in the day. New York session, 9.30. So my, my original stop loss was here. But once the trade went in my favor, I moved it to... here so I could have got out right here um, you know could have locked in like 80 pips but I wanted to try and see if it was going to go further so I ended up you know not cashing the 80 so but it started to um, get right here so let me show you what I did get on this on this here there we are Bam. I locked in um 71 pips. So based off this trade here, using no indicators, just pure market structure, price action. Like I said, I like to trade on the um I like to use the line chart because I'm able to find entries a lot easier that way. Um a lot of my members they go back and forth between the line chart and the candlestick, which I do myself of course as well when I'm trying to pinpoint something. Um, but th this is it. I send out this alert. Now you may be thinking, all right, Lonnie, this already happened. How do we know that you really sent out this alert to your subscribers so that they could have made money on the trade with you? Because, you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty, as they say. Let me show you this. Bam. This was yesterday at 10-11. I sent out the exact entry price, stop loss. Take profit. I gave a reason for the um stop losses above key weekly resistance, and it got into the trade. Um, see this here on discussions here. People fired up about it. People locking in profits. Another trade one of our members took. Um, this is our Discord community, 
Um, so I send out alerts like that via Discord, and you get push notifications for them. So you're going to hear me talk about market structure, how to find trades. That's the purpose of this channel. I want to help you all become a better trader. I've been trading um, in the market for over five years, since 2015. And I've been teaching people how to trade the market since 2018. And um, I'm very good at what I do. So um, let me show you, matter of fact, what I do. Let's go here to my website here. If you want to learn more how to be profitable in the forest market, because it's not easy, but I, I can definitely help you become a profitable trader. I want to encourage you to check out my website, 5minutetrades.com. Once again, that's me, Lonnie Williams. That's my beautiful wife. This is us, 5minutetrades.com, a passion for teaching price action trading. We don't need any indicators. All you need to find a good, awesome trade is price action and market structure. Um, what do you get for becoming a member? Well, you get one-on-one -on -one live trading instruction. You get access to our exclusive Discord group, which I just showed you a couple moments ago. You get buy and sell signals. You get access to our webinars. You learn how to trade the right, the right way. What I mean by the right way is that you're not overly um, risking too much in your account. You're not blowing out your account by um, you know, placing silly trades without stop losses. We use good sound principles here at 5minutetrades.com. And um, most of all, what I really love about our service is the um, phone, text, and email support. All of um, my members have my phone number. They can call me or text me or email me. Or most of the time, we, we chat via Discord about any questions. And I'm always trying to make myself available for anyone that needs help. Um, if you if you want to get help with learning how to trade, I want you to feel free to contact me as well. Just click on this Contact Us Today um, link, and um, you can send me an email that way. Or, you know... When the new year, new year comes with new opportunities. If you want to make 2021 the year you finally start learning how to make money trading in the Forex market the right way, I want to encourage you to just go ahead and click on become a member. So once again, my name is Lonnie Williams. I'm with 5minutetrades.com. Thank you for taking the time to um to spend with me over this short um, video regarding my trade of Australian dollar versus the Swiss franc. Um, going to be making more content like this, and I hope that you join me along for the ride. Take care and God bless.